is when we uh, face a situation in which uh, something wrong is uh, happening or someone is committing a sin or something which is not allowed by our religion and Sharia then we are obliged to, we must in other words uh, come forward and try to prevent this sin from happening what it means is we need to talk to the man or woman if you associate who is someone else with God uh, God does not uh, ask uh, for uh, his part he will give all of your rewards you leave it to the other one the way you put the question that can we do something good for the satisfaction of both God and for example our parents uh, is uh, where the problem arises. Uh, everything should be uh, Prophet for, Muhammad uh, says that the nearest of you to me on the day of resurrection is the modest person. Imam as sadiq says in heavens there are two angels whose mission is to oversee the servants. They advance him who behaves modestly and humiliates him who behaves proudly. And um, you know, fighter prayers are very important for the Muslims. Uh, in the society, um, the, uh, the people, the true Muslims, really pay attention to this kind of Normal congregational... Before I explain each and everything to you, I would like to just only divide this topic into a different section. First of all, I would like to tell you the importance of the family in Islam. As the importance of the subject is concerned, there are certain reasons. A mediator and we can do nothing with ourselves and uh, Allah is a healer and do everything. And uh, um, the point I'm trying to make is Every promise uh, that we uh, make uh, with uh, another person uh, has to be fulfilled uh, satisfactorily. Uh, this is uh, important in our individual lives as well as in our social life. Uh, that reminds me of another uh, ayah from the Holy Quran, which is in Surah Al Maida. Uh, the first uh, verse which says Ya ayyuhalladzina amanu awfu bil ugud O you who believe Ya ayyuhalladzina amanu fulfill the obligations or fulfill your obligations So uh, the fact is that envy is a very dangerous uh, disease for our faith um, when you envy someone, when you're envious to your friend, it means that um, you do not consider God as a just person. We are ordered in some parts of the Holy Quran to make friends with such and such and such people. And in some other verses, we are ordered not to make friends with some other groups. Okay, In this verse, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, do not stay away from the ones 
for Allah's worshippers, who Allah's slaves, who uh, pray to their Lord in the morning and in the evening, which means they are religious, they obey the laws of religion, they are with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, they are with God, and uh, if they are, for example, poor, or if they don't have a you know, high social status, do not uh, drive away uh, those people. In this regard, I have to mention that Allah has given a white check, granted check, to the youth generation, especially boys. That if you are afraid from economical problem, please do not afraid of it. Why? Because Allah has granted you. If you get married, Allah will fulfill your needs totally. He, Allah says in uh, chapter Nur, chapter Light, verse 32, in min fazlihi. If they are, means they are referred to whom? Referred to the boys who are economically weak. If they are weak, don't worry. Allah will, will fulfill their needs from His grace. From His grace. But concerning these concepts, um that you mentioned about uh, truthfulness, Imam Sadiq alayhi salam has uh, narrated that uh, you know, uh, do not be deceived by the very much offering of prayers and uh, observance of fasting. You know, we we see people around us that uh, they are praying too much and they are fasting, and Imam Sadiq asks us not to be deceived by this very fasting and you know uh, praying. Uh, in fact, prayers and fasting have become habits that they feel desolate if they omit them. So um, that's um, um, that's. Why uh, it became um, just a, a kind of habit for them, for them to uh, pray and to fast, uh, all of them. Uh, well, actually, I think there is another very important point uh, that we should um, consider in our discussion is that there are even some people who envy the blessings and the positions of the prophets. And actually there's a verse in this relation that Allah says that do they envy people for what Allah has given them of His bounty? And this exactly shows that uh, we should not envy the blessings that God has given to a person, especially the prophets. And it is very, very clear in the Islamic history that at the time and the era of the Holy Prophet and Amir al-Mu'mineen uh, they were some people who envied the position of Amir al-Mu'mineen, especially the position that he had um, in relation with uh, the Holy Prophet uh, but something we should bear is that uh, the position of Amir al-Mu'mineen was not because of the relationship that he had with the Holy Prophet, because but it was because of the actually the bounties and the blessing that Allah had given to him. And uh, some people who actually envied Amir al-Mu'mineen, they committed a lot of sins and a lot of bad things in the history of uh, the Islam, and that resulted to very very bad um, outcomes in the history. Now we go to chastity, which is to some extent the same as piety. Chastity is abstention from whatever is unallowable and unsuitable, such as excessive uh, food and carnal appetites. Chastity is among the noblest traits and among the highest features that indicates elevation of faith. If you want to elevate and uh, make your uh, faith better, this chastity and self-honoring and dignity would be very useful uh, for uh, continuing your path of perfection. Sorry, sir. Can I ask you a question? Yes, please. Uh, I would like to know how effective can be a group of friends, you know, or a, you know, a friend on each person. Uh, uh, maybe a good kind of behaviors or bad kind of behaviors. I don't know about it. You know, it happens for me sometimes. I, I'm, I have the relation with somebody else that is not Muslim. For example, the Christian kind of people. Uh, how can be uh, effective on them? Is that possible, even or not? Uh, 
so you see, it, it's just the opposite. It's not the way. And it's even many people have practiced this in their lives. If they pay their zakat, including homes and others, Allah has promised to increase their wealth. Uh, that is uh, the understanding that we have uh, from the Ahadis. We talked about the rights of parents and uh, we have to respect them, mostly mother and father, and we have to love them. But um, I want to ask that what is expected of children, those children who um, have parents who do not fulfill their rights or uh, parents who do not uh, do what uh, is expected of them. Uh, for example, some uh, fathers um, are addicted, they are angry, they hit the, their children, you know, they deprive their children of their rights. Uh, what that child should do, what yeah. is expected of the, those children? Uh, let me add a few more examples which we are uh, dealing with in our daily lives. And you mentioned uh, perfectly, but let me add a few more examples. Uh, when we get stuck in a traffic, uh, sometimes we are patient. We can wait for one full hour and don't say anything and no reactions. Some people are not that patient. What happens? They are patient for five minutes. As soon as five, six minutes uh, is finished, they start giving some reactions. Okay. When it becomes longer and longer, and they are not patient enough, they try to break, to go against the rights of others. Because they're, they're stuck in traffic, as long as they see a, a small move uh, in the traffic, and the cars start uh, going forward, they try to break in uh, the uh, lines of the cars. Or if, uh, Another example is uh, when you have a pedestrian crossing the street on the uh, determined part of the uh, street. I am supposed, as a driver, to stop completely and let him or her cross the street. But sometimes you see this not happening. This is another example of happiness. I was speaking about uh, education of the partners. Uh, well, there's a traditional belief, maybe in some uh, families, that uh, uh, usually the husband should have a higher education. But uh, now we see that uh, many females are uh, really becoming uh, uh, more educated in different fields. They are uh, continuing the, their education in college and uh, master's degree and PhD. And sometimes uh, the female uh, uh, becomes uh, more educated than uh, her prospect uh, and her future husband. Uh, I want to see that, uh, is there any real uh, problem, is there any fundamental problem with this uh, issue of having a wife which uh, has higher education than the husband? Uh, 